Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with the S23 Ultra and this time I'll be showing you how to set up the secure folder. So the secure folder is pretty much like a safe with a key. So you can keep all your important pictures, files, um, applications, game data, everything pretty much locked away and safe so that nobody can access it. Okay, so I'm going to take you through the steps of how to set it up and then I'm going to give you a quick demonstration as to how it works. Okay, so just follow what I'm about to do. So just pull down the notifications and go into the settings. And then you're going to scroll down. Or you might even have to scroll back up and just look for security and privacy. Then scroll down to where it says secure folder. Then select continue. And from here, you'll need to sign into your Samsung account. If you don't have a Samsung account, you can create one using this option here. Or you can sign in with a Google account or sign in with QR code. If you already have a Samsung account, but you can't remember the password or the login details, you can select find my ID and it should help you log back into your account. So I'm gonna enter my account details and I'll be back. See you all soon. Okay, so I just entered my details. Now it's taken me to this page and there's these three options here. Um, just choose the ones you want. I'm just gonna select all, even though it's optional and then hit agree. And then here you can sign in way faster using your biometrics. I'm going to skip that and hit cancel and then continue. And now it's creating the secure folder. And there's some nice information here that you can read upon. It's just letting you know how the um, secure folder works and what you can do, like add files easily, keep your apps secure. Okay, so the secure folder is finished creating, so we need to add a password to it just to keep it safe. So you can either choose a pin or a password or a pattern, or you can use biometrics. So I'm gonna select pin, and I'm just gonna choose a simple pin for the purpose of the video. Make sure you use, okay, I've entered it wrong. Let's try again. Make sure you use a strong password. This pin is easy to guess, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna use it anyway. But like I mentioned, make sure you use a strong password. Okay, so now it's saying, Turn on reset with Samsung account. If you forget to unlock, if you forget to unlock secure folder, you can reset your lock using your Samsung account, but only if you've already turned on reset and Samsung account. So just go ahead and activate it just so that if you forget, you can reset it. And then just hit next. And now the new secure folder has been created. Okay, so these are all the default applications for the secure folder. So camera, internet, contacts, gallery, calendar, Samsung notes, and my files. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration as to how it works. So when I select gallery here, as you can see, there's nothing in the gallery. But when I come out of the secure folder and I go into the gallery outside of the secure folder, as you can see, I've got pictures in here. So these pictures are not really safe because they're outside of the secure folder and not locked away in the gallery. Okay, so let me just demonstrate something real quick. So let me just open the camera. 
So if I take a picture of this kind of thing using the camera outside of the secure folder and then I go into the gallery as you can see the kind of thing is there however if I go into the secure folder and use the camera inside the secure folder and I take a picture of this and then go into the gallery as you can see the picture is in there and if I come out of the secure folder and use the gallery outside of the secure folder as you can see the picture what I've taken of this is not showing up within this gallery it can only be viewed in the secure folders gallery so that's how it works and that's the same with videos and any other application um, so if I select this little plus sign here I can add applications that I want to lock away within the secure folder so if I want to lock away Call of Duty Instagram Netflix you don't want nobody viewing your Netflix um, WhatsApp you just select the ones that you want to lock away within the secure folder and then just go ahead and hit add and as you can see they've now been added so how this also works as well if you add call of duty to the secure folder your game saves and everything will be here within the secure folder so you have to launch the game if you want to pick up where you've left left off from you have to launch the game and play it through the secure folder if you try to play it from outside of the secure folder your game progress won't be there and um, you'll have to start from from the start from fresh with rubbish weapons and all that you know what i mean so yeah if you want to pick up where you left off from with all your game saves and all its data you have to launch the game through the secure folder so that's that, that's really good if say one of your friends wants to play the game and you don't want them using your weapons and all that stuff you let them play the game <laughs> from um from outside the secure folder i hope you all understand what i'm saying okay let me go back into the secure folder so if you select the plus sign there as well you can download more applications and games from the play store there's an option and also you can download from the galaxy store if you select those three little pins here you can add files so you can add images videos so these are the videos that I have in my gallery outside of the secure folder. So if I want to add all of these to the secure folder, I would simply select add files and then just select everything that I want to add to the secure folder come on and you can add albums as well and just hit done 
If you move these files to your folder, will be removed from their original folders. So just go ahead and hit move. And as you can see, it's moving files to the secure folder. There's no progress bar, however. And when I go into the gallery now, as you can see, all the files are there. So let's add the videos as well. So just select the videos that you want to add to the secure folder and hit done. And once again, it lets you know if you move these files to secure folder, they will be removed from their original folders. Go ahead and hit move. And as you can see, moving files to secure folder. And now when I go into the gallery, as you can see, my videos are there. And also there's an option to customize the secure folder so you can um, rename it and you can change the color of the folder. You can change the icon shape. If you make any mistakes, you can reset it or if you're happy with it, you can apply. In fact, let me change it to this key. Yeah. And then apply. And once you're finished and you're happy with everything, just go ahead and select lock and exit. Secure folder locked. And that's it guys, that's how you set up and use the secure folder on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Hope this video helped you out. Um, I tried to explain it the best I can. If there's any further information you need help with, just let me know in the comment section um, down below and I'll get back to you. Anyway, it's your boy the Android Doctor and I'm out. I'll see you in the next one guys. Remember to like and share the video, yeah? Alright, thanks. I'm out. Deuces.